All right, so now that we have the trace on here that we already done in the previous lesson, and if you haven't been following along on how we actually got this, go ahead and make sure you check out the previous video. But in this video, we're going to show you how you can create a nice little shadow background uh, because some of you may want to utilize that feature uh, inside of here for Inkscape so you can cut it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. So uh, one of the things that I always stress here is whenever you select a shape, you do want to always make sure that it is a path. And you can look right down here in the information section and we have its path. Okay, so we know it's a path and we know we can perform uh, some path operations to it. And if you go up to the path menu and you go all the way to linked offset, and that's what we're going to deal with. We, we have this little tiny node right here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and give this another color just so that we can see what's happening. So uh, we, we selected the color down here uh, right above the information panel. Okay. So we have the little node right there and all you have to do is click on it and drag. Okay. And now we're, we're finally seeing the effects of a nice little shadow around our objects okay so you can increase decrease however you like you know you, you may just want to put a tiny little bit of shadow on there okay now once you do you just go ahead and release the mouse so you can see that it's uh, it still has a node there and you can still adjust it if you want and if we go back and select it here and it, if you'll remember one of the tips is you know, before you save this as a as an SVG or anything, you, you do want to make sure that uh, all things are paths. Okay, so if we take if we selected everything right now and we take a look at our information box, we do have two objects. We have one path and a linked offset. Okay, so we do need to convert that linked offset to a path. And in order to do that, all we have to do uh, with it selected, go all the way up to path object to path. Now we take a look at the information bar down there at the bottom and you can see two objects that are selected and they are a path. So now we are good to go and we're ready to save this. Okay so now you can just go up to file save or save as and that will work as an SVG for your cutting machine. Okay so file save as you can name it whatever you wish and now you can go ahead and bring in that SVG file into whatever cutting program you are currently using and it will show up just like this okay so when you bring it in uh, we can always go to view display mode outline and we can see what the cutter sees okay so that's how you would make a nice little shadow now stay tuned for the next video because we're going to show you how you can get rid of some of the insides and what we call that is uh, you know, usually a blackout. Okay, so um, many times you'll you'll have these little white areas that you'll want to remove uh, for whatever reason, and you'll be able to do that here in the next video. Okay.